woman who is a vampire. He is in a plane with his son. But then the plane gets hijacked. Will she be able to save her son? Watch whole video to see this. At the beginning of the movie we see an airport in Scotland. Everyone is waiting for a plane to land, because this plane has been hijacked. There are many soldiers on the scene, and we see the plane lands on the airport, but there is no pilot on the plane. A wounded man is controlling the plane. Colonel Allen, who is in charge of airport security, is also there. The passenger sitting in the cockpit says, I'm not a hijacker. Let me go. Allen says, first, let all the passengers go. Just then, a child comes out of the plane. His name is Elias. The military takes Elias for a medical examination and questions him. Elias tells them that he and his mother Nadia are going from Europe to New York because Nadia has leukemia. They couldn't get treatment in their country, so they went to another place. We see Elias at the airport, where he is checking in his bags. An Arab scientist named Farid helps him. We also see Nadia, who arrives at the airport. Nadia remembers the past when she was with her husband and was very happy. One night their car broke down and her husband went to get help. They never returned. Scene shifts in present. Now we see Nadia, before he getting on the flight, he gives herself an injection. All the passengers get on the plane and the plane takes off. One of the passengers on the plane is a stock trader. As soon as the plane reaches the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, the plane's Wi-Fi connection is lost. The trader was furious, but then we see several terrorists inside the plane, who hijacked the plane. One of these hijackers is also the plane's second pilot. Elias looks at the plane's map and finds a place where he can hide. He runs to the cargo section, but his mother also runs after him. The terrorists think they are running away, so the psycho terrorist shoots Elias's mother. Elias starts crying and the terrorist tells him that it's all his fault. If he didn't run away, his mother would still be alive. Now we see a scene from the past. When Elias's father does not return, his mother goes out to look for him. She arrives at a house and sees the footprints of her husband. She follows them. A vampire sees him. She also finds her husband's dead body, which has been badly mutilated. The vampire comes to attack her, but Nadia tries to stop it by closing the basement door. But the vampire comes from behind and bites her hand. Now we find out that Nadia did not have leukemia and she was a vampire herself. That's why she had sent Elias to the airport earlier, so that the day would end and it would be night. We see that Elias's mother was a vampire. She did not die even after being shot, because vampires can heal quickly. She took injections to suppress her vampire form and now she was hiding in the cargo section. Where two dogs, now Nadia needed blood to heal herself. So he killed a dog and drank its blood. But then a hijacker came. Elias's mother killed him too and drank his blood. Now she went to the pilot with Elias. But she sees that the pilot was dead long back and the plane was now on autopilot. The hijackers were sent only to blow up the plane. In the cockpit, Nadia sees in the CCTV that all the terrorists are ready to jump. Now Nadia comes out and says that the pilot is dead. Is there anyone here who can fly a plane? A boy says, yes, I can fly a plane. Here, that hijacker got an injection and many blood stains. So all the hijackers come to plan main area. But Nadia closed the door. One hijacker, pointing a gun at a passenger, asked Nadia to open the door. When Nadia didn't open the door, she killed the passenger. Then she brought a girl and was about to kill her. At that moment, Nadia opens the door. As soon as the door opens, Nadia cuts the terrorist. He dies in agony and later transforms into a vampire. Nadia kills him by stabbing with a knife. Now, the remaining terrorists hide. We see the terrorist reading Nadia's diary and realizing that she's a vampire. Nadia gives herself another injection. Now, another flashback is shown. After getting infected by the vampire, Nadia returns to that house. There she meets an old man who was also infected and was the vampire's father. He says, my son lost control and you killed him. He points a gun at Nadia, but she kills him and takes his medicine. She sets the house on fire and the scene ends. 
Now we see the hijackers again, who are planning to kill Nadia. Elias now hears all this and runs to save his mother. A terrorist tortures Nadia with a torch and takes her blood sample. He is about to kill her, but then Elias points a gun at him. And accidentally a bullet hits the plane's window. The pressure in the plane starts to drop and the oxygen masks open and the oxygen level drops too much. If the plane is not landed, everyone can die. This is why the boy who is controlling the plane faints and a terrorist goes inside and starts to land the plane. Meanwhile, Nadia also shoots a terrorist, but he escapes and sits in a bulletproof car in the cargo hold and Nadia attacks him with a rod. But this psycho terrorist injects vampire blood into himself to escape and now he also turns into a vampire. Now Nadia sets fire to the car, but he does not die. Meanwhile, a fire warning comes in the cockpit of the plane. The pilots turn on the fire extinguisher switch and come down to check, then he bites them and they all turn into vampires now. Now Nadia comes up and tells all the passengers about it, so everyone closes the exit of the cargo section. Now the vampire terrorists were trying to come out of the exit. Just then they bite Farid, so Nadia quickly cuts off Farid's hand so that the infection does not spread. During this time, the man who was flying the plane is instructed to land it at the same spot because the plane has very little fuel left. Meanwhile, we see a passenger who has been severely injured, and he goes to the cargo doors and meets the psycho vampire who tells him to get bitten so he can also survive as a vampire. In the meantime, the plane's pilot is still alive and he can't transform into a vampire below, so he calls the Air Traffic Control Center, ATCC, in Scotland to report the hijacking. In the meantime, all the vampire passengers enter the plane and they start attacking everyone, turning everyone into vampires. Now, Nadia sees all this on the cameras and contemplates killing all the vampires. Then she informs the pilot about the bomb that a terrorist has placed inside the plane. However, the remote for that bomb is with one of the terrorists who has died in the cargo hold. Afterward, Nadia is told to go there, but Elias goes into the cargo hold and finds a small path from the cockpit to get there. Now, Elias takes that path into the cargo hold and brings the remote from the terrorist, but just then the psycho vampire attacks him. And all of this was being watched by Nadia through the camera, and Nadia bits the co-pilot so that she can drink his blood because she needed energy, and the plane was also in autopilot mode, capable of landing, so there was no need for a pilot. Now Nadia is going to fight against the vampires of that site, and a battle ensues between Psycho and Nadia, where Psycho is more powerful. Afterward, Elias opens the emergency door of the cargo bay, and sunlight starts entering the plane. Then, Farid takes the plane out of autopilot mode for a while and pushes the Psycho out of the door, causing his body to catch fire, and he dies. However, in the meantime, Nadia becomes very weak, and Elias tries to feed on her blood, but Nadia pushes him back and leaves from there. We see that the plane is now descending, and Elias informs the doctors that all hijackers are dead and Farid is not a terrorist. However, no one believes him about what happened next, and the airline thinks that Farid is still the hijacker, and passengers are still inside. Now, it's evening, and Alan asks Farid to allow all passengers to disembark, and he orders the soldiers to board the plane. Now as soon as the military enters the plane, all the vampires attack them. Colonel was watching all this in CCTV and starts taking Farid to military and now Elias also waits for Nadia by coming near the plane. But this time Nadia was completely converted into vampire and seeing this, Elias starts crying and he presses the button and the whole plane gets blasted and all the vampires are killed and now Colonel frees Farid too and so on. With this the movie ends here. How did you like this movie, do tell us by commenting. And do subscribe to our channel.